Thanks. Might be hard to see, but there's water on this floor back here. Seven ABSS schools have some sort of water damage from the storm. A Graham High School has all sorts of buckets and trash cans out catching leaks tonight. WFM News 2's Giselle Thomas found out the next steps for repairs. A spokesperson from the school district tells me that these images from Graham High School are similar to what's going on at Eastern High School, B. Everett Jordan, Western Middle and Western High. And Alamance County Commissioner says that she wants her colleagues to take action now. The county commissioners alone are responsible for these buildings and the maintenance of them. That is our required mandated job that we're supposed to do. Commissioner Pamela Thompson took a tour of Graham High School. It is one of many schools throughout the district that took a hard hit from the storms. To prevent further damage, some rooms have trash cans to catch water leaking from the ceiling, while maintenance crews are quickly working to replace tiles. We have water damage sheetrock, which you saw today. We also have uh, lots of ceiling tiles that will need to be replaced. At Hall River Elementary School, for example, about a third of the ceiling tiles, hundreds of ceiling tiles are having to be replaced today. And the issue there is because if we don't get those replaced immediately, we will have another mold issue in our schools. Commissioner Thompson says prevention is key, and she wants her colleagues to step up and not only fix problems throughout ABSS, but prevent them. Prevention is the principle in everything. We just got to be smart because when we wait, it costs so much money. Over $20 million we sunk into mold that we didn't really know we had as far as the how just divisive and how important and how devastating it was. But if we don't do this, we're going to be right back and we just can't pay to redo everything. This isn't like a hair appointment you go to every Friday. This is fix it and stay fixed. ABSS plans to ask county commissioners for even more money on top of the millions the county approved to fix mold issues last year. And the vice chair tells me that those discussions might not happen until next week.